We are here with Just Phil TV again. I'm gonna give y'all full disclosure so he can't uh, bring it up later. I failed. Yeah, uh, yeah. Bust yeah. my tail, dog. It happened. For, for the for the sake of creation and art. Yes, for the yes. sake of creation and art, I failed. Now, can you give us? I know everybody has seen the videos. Uh, I'm not gonna say the name of the place, but where they talk about the etiquette at the fuel aisle. So can you break down as a five-year veteran? What are the do's and don'ts of the fuel aisle, or if you want, <laughs> what to do when you pull in? It's it's sad because. The fact that they have automated systems to tell you what to do with the fuel island, but none of y'all, and I say this again, none of y'all listen. Mm. It's simple. If you are coming to the fuel island, if you need to go inside to purchase fuel, which that should be the only reason you should go in the fuel island. Mm. If you have to go to the fuel island and you are going inside to purchase fuel, you need to make a beeline from your fuel lane to the fuel desk and return. Don't go in the store and, okay, I'm gonna buy fuel. I queued up my pump, but oh, I need my snacks. I don't wanna have to come back inside. Oh, let me go and get all the sugary drinks I want. Oh, they got a two for one on the hot dogs. Let me go ahead and handle all that. Oh, let me chop it up with my old buddy and that's swapping nonsense trucker stories that we don't care about. Eat it, Denny. Yeah, oh, eat it. Take a shower. Oh my God, the shower. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yeah, simple as that. Which honestly, really, the number one thing I feel like we should be being trained on is to use, now, mind you, it doesn't work every time because some of these spots just don't care. But as much as possible, you should be using the kiosk that is there at the fuel island to save time. It already takes on average 20 minutes to fuel your actual truck. So you shouldn't be wasting an extra 10 to 15 minutes going inside to wait in line. Mm. So as much as possible, you use a fuel kiosk. After you fuel and you hang up your pumps, do not go inside. Move your truck forward. They have a designated yellow area for you to pull your truck to leave adequate space for the next guy behind you, especially in the daytime. We all know this, we've been in line. We've been in these stops where there's everybody's two and three trucks deep behind the fuel island because somebody went inside instead of actively fueling their truck as they should have. Mm. It's simple. So, when we, when we, have you ever pulled into the fuel island? Mm -hmm. Someone pulls to the floor and stay, and then you gotta sit there and Oh my God, no. I don't even play that game anymore. Listen, if I've had time to pull my truck forward, get out of my truck, purchase fuel, fuel both tanks, return the pumps back to the t uh, back to their hangers, and you still haven't moved your truck, I'm backing up. You back out of the fuel line? I do it on a regular basis. I don't play those games about my time when I get fuel. I try to make it where I only get fuel at the end of my shift or at the beginning, but in some circumstances where I need to purchase fuel mid-shift, if you take more than five minutes to move your truck after you pull forward, I'm backing out. I've had it in some cases where I've gotten fuel, went inside, got my fuel receipts, came back out, and the truck was still sitting there. So I ever so politely put on my four ways, two, two, and I get out of there. I gotta get down the road. It's a bad day if I ain't clocking 600 miles. I would say, I would say it's a small percentage. Hey! <laughs> I would say it's a small percentage of not knowing. The larger percentage of it is just pure laziness. It's just out of habit. It's like, oh, it, there's no concern for the next man in this industry. It's everybody for themselves. And it didn't used to be that way for my father. No, there was, there was a time where people truly did care about one another out here on this road. There was a sense of camaraderie amongst the truckers. There was a sense of pride, I guess you could say. But as we all know, times have changed.